research basically means that you take on a project within the field that you're interested in and you research in depth about this particular problem that you found within your research field. The benefits of doing undergraduate research definitely includes critical thinking and problem solving skills. Definitely learning the course materials before you actually see them in class. Networking, um, whether that be through you know the teaching assistants who are doing the research, or even the mentors that you're under, uh, definitely have the ability to help you out. Being able to read and understand scientific literature. Building your resume for after college. Being able to learn technical skills and lab skills for the outside world in case the jobs that you apply to require them. Numerous studies have shown that students that are engaged in research and creative work opportunities are more likely to stay in school, they're more likely to do well in school, they're more likely to graduate on time, and they're more likely to do well professionally outside of school. It's actually very rewarding for me as a professional to take a student who is green and start exposing them to the science that we do, the research, the uh, instrumentation. And you can start seeing them build up the capacity, the ability to do research. Challenges include being able to manage your time wisely. And manage your time meaning you have to emphasize on research as well as the other areas of your life, including family, school especially, and work. When I first started doing research, I found it very difficult because I didn't know proper terminology or correct lab procedures to follow. Um, however, with the help of my advisor and surrounding myself with uh, people who are willing to help me, I was able to learn all of these things and even pursue my own research. It's important for students to do research early on in their college careers because it actually takes some time to understand the subject matter. But what we try to do is ensure that students can have the opportunity to engage in research. This can go through the 499, the 399, and the 299 credits that students can get to undertake research in someone's research laboratory. The main thing is finding something that you can engage in, that you have an interest in. You just have to ask to start shadowing in a lab. Um, you know, my mentor would always tell me, it's like, if you never ask, you won't get anything. And, or another way to say it is, you know, if you never take a shot at a goal, you'll never score. So once you find that, that faculty mentor, they can help you decide what your research question is that you want to then pursue. Um, and oftentimes, it works best if, if the research project that you're working on or the question that you're pursuing is in line with what that faculty mentor is already doing in their lab because that allows them to provide a larger infrastructure. Keep in mind, students may do a project that lasts only one semester or a project that lasts their entire college career. Regardless, working with a faculty mentor will give you the experience that you need to prepare applications for research opportunities both on and off campus. Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program is a program that is for all students from all departments and from all degree programs across the university. Uh, we provide funding for students to do both projects and to present their works. We also help facilitate for students um, how to find opportunities with a database of opportunities. We're a, a centralized, one-stop clearinghouse for opportunities for students. IMBRE is a statewide STEM program for undergraduate students to allow them to engage in bench and field research and get funded. You could be a part of this because we want to make sure that what you learn in the class, you can actually do as a researcher in the laboratory or in the field. That process involves a two or three page application. So you need to look at the literature and justify why you want to do your study. And then you also need to learn the skills that you learn about in the research methods class. Apply to Europe, INRE, or other programs for funding. Talk to your professor about other funding options for lab supplies, field trips, or internships. 
After successfully applying, you'll want to start looking at the many presentation opportunities. Sharing your research with a scientific community is an integral part of the research experience. Students can present their research at various conferences across campus, such as CTAR Research Day, the Lahui Research Conference, Tester, the Biology Research Symposia, the Undergraduate Showcase, and the Summer Undergraduate Research Experience, or SURE, among others. You can also apply for grants to present your research at conferences locally, globally, and nationally. The opportunities are endless. Research can take you to places where you never thought you'd be. For me, my research has allowed me to do field work in South Africa, um, working with elephants and bees, as well as working in the lab under a microscope, looking at the gut microbiome of a coffee berry borer. Piece of advice that I consistently give to my undergraduate students is to follow their heart. Um, to do what it is that you really want to do. Take advantage of the opportunities that exist. Um, do internships, do volunteer opportunities. Um, talk to faculty about being involved in the programs in their labs. But don't let other people tell you what you're interested in and what you want to do. My advice for young researchers is to explore different opportunities and to use each one as a learning experience where you can grow from. So students, get over your shyness, talk to your professors, engage.